Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the frame rate counter working on crossover games. So this will apply to any crossover game running DirectX 11 using the DXVK layout. So if you don't have crossover installed already, what you can do is to follow my Windows gaming guide here. I'm going to leave a link to this video in the description. This is going to teach you how to install crossover and run Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once you've installed Crossover and you've installed a launcher like Steam and you've installed a few games, then what you want to do is to be able to enable the DXVK HUD so you can see the frame rate of the game that you're running. So today I'm going to enable the DXVK HUD on Steam. So what I'm going to do is to enable this bottle sidebar here and then we're going to select our bottle. So this bottle is Steam and what I'm going to do is to control click on it. Then I'm going to click on open C drive. So what we need to do is to enable the path bar. So if you don't have the path bar enabled, what you can do is click view and then show path path bar here, then it's going to display the path of our bottle here. So here we can see the drive C, which is where all of our data for this bottle is kept. What we want to do is to visit its parent folder, which is Steam, which is the name of the bottle. And then what we want to do is to edit this cxbottle.conf. So I'm going to control click on this and then click open with text edit. So here we want to scroll to the bottom of this configuration file. And then what we want to do is to enter a specific code. So I'm going to leave a link to the DXVK GitHub page here. And this basically shows all of the parameters that we can apply to the DXVK HUD. So we can actually do things like selectively display dev info, FPS, frame times, etc. Or we can actually add the full detail, or we can just add the dev info and the FPS counter, or we can enter the full HUD. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to add the full HUD and you can customize this as you please. So at the bottom of this cxbottle.conf, so we're going to type in double straight quotes. So this is shift and then the apostrophe icon on the right hand side of the Mac keyboard, then dxvk underscore hud, then double quotes again, equals double quotes, and then type in the word full, f-u-l-l, -L, then double quotes. And then this is going to apply the dxvk hud equals full. So this is this code here. We could easily change this full for the number one, and that's going to show the dev info and FPS, or we can go ahead and use commas to separate these particular values here, and then those are going to display within the game. So now that we've edited this, we're going to click file and then save, and I'm going to close this now. And what we're going to do is to make sure that we have the DXVK turned on on Steam. So we're going to control click on Steam, go to settings, and then make sure that the DXVK backend for D3D11 is turned on. So it means that any DirectX 10 or 11 game is going to make use of the framework counter. So now I'm going to basically double click on my Steam icon here so that we can open up a game. So now that we've loaded up GTA 5, we can now see that there's all this detail on the top left hand side of the screen, including the frame rate as well as other performance indicators that we can see on the left here. So this is going to apply for in the menu as well as in the game as well as anything that renders through DirectX 10 or DirectX 11. So this also applies within the GTA 5 game. The kind of red bars that you can see with the frame rate counter show the, all the drop frames and we can also see other performance metrics too. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.